So what's going on guys and welcome back to episode number 20 of our Portsmouth co-rear mode and we are going to be kicking off this game with a home game app against Fratton Park. So as you can see our slide is not fully fit but we're going to hopefully try and pick up all three points. It's going to be a difficult game but I'm sure we can come out on top. Play up Pompey. Oh we get a penalty. Deary me, the Carlisle defender, what is he doing? That is just a blood of a blush of a rud to the head. I can't even speak. A rush of blood to the head. Craig Woodman, their number 21, completely hacks down Bennett. He was going nowhere. We had no options. He slides in, gets absolutely nowhere near the ball, and he gets taken out. So it's going to be Connor Chaplin up against Gillespie. Can Connor Chaplin find the back of the net? He's going to go up. He's going to stop. He's going to go for the top right-hand corner, and he's hit the post, but it doesn't matter because it finds its way into the back of the net. It's a lovely penalty from our number 19, Connor Chaplin, as he gets us off to a flying start. Just six minutes in, we already take the lead and there was no better way to take a penalty than that hitting the inside of the post the goalkeeper at full stretch can't get anywhere near that one and I don't think any goalkeeper in the world would have saved that well done Connor so Bennett's charging away from his man. Bennett's going all the way. A lovely piece of run from Bennett. He's going to cut back inside on his favourite right boot. He's going to play the ball through to Moore. Moore to turn his man. But the defender gets back in time to take the ball away from him. But once again, a very promising start to the game. And no wonder why we're 20 points clear at the top of the league. So win the ball back in a dangerous position with Reese Oxford. Reese Oxford is going to wait for the runner Moore. We're going to try and squeeze it through to him. It's a good ball, but he's still got a lot to do. Moore's going to cut back inside, and he actually gets the ball taken away from him once again. So Moore's not had the brightest of starts of the game. He's had two half-decent chances, but he's failed to beat his defender. Oh, we get another penalty. Deary me, what are the Carlisle defenders doing? He goes to ground once again. Moore was just too quick for him. And, uh, well, it's going to be Conor Chaplin's chance to get his second of the game. And it's going to be yet another penalty. So, is the goalkeeper going to go the same way? Is he going to go a different way? What is he going to do? So, have a look at the replay. They're actually going to show you a replay, but you would have already seen it at the start. But, it's going to be Conor Chaplin once again up against the goalkeeper. So, Conor Chaplin's going to run up. He's going to stop. He's going to start. He's going to go to the same hand side. And this time, he finds the back of the net once again. It's a lovely place penalty from our number 19, Conor Chaplin. And what a penalty taker he is. And the good news is now, Conor Chaplin's now hit double figures for the league season. I know it's not that many goals, but it's still quite good for a young striker like him. And hopefully, he can step up to the mark when we get promoted. And the cross comes in now. And in comes the header. They've God, deary me, every single time they put a half-decent ball into the box, not just in this game, but pretty much the whole season, we have lost all the headers in the middle. Our goalkeeper can't be blamed for that one, but every single time we cannot win any headers in the middle, can we? So we play the ball through to Lookman, who's just come on the pitch. Lookman, can he create a chance? He's going to go all the way. Lookman to strike it. It's a good save from the goalkeeper. And we are in search for Conor Chaplin's hat-trick as well. What a uh, few episodes this could be. If Conor Chaplin could find the back of the net, it's a good ball from Edwards. But it's well cut out from the Carlisle defender. But Carlisle, as you can see there, because obviously there's still only one goal in it, they're pushing bodies forward and they're still searching for a goal. So that's it. The referee blows the final whistle and we scored two penalties, which in fact won us the game by two goals to one. Conor Chaplin is the man of the match as he played very, very well. And as you can see there, he picks up a 9.5 rating. Very good from the penalty spot. Carlo only had one shot and one on target, which was their goal. So a little disappointing that we couldn't keep a clean sheet, but yet it's another three points added onto the tally this season. And surely it's just a matter of time before we get crowned champions. So it's now time for the second game of the episode, which is going to be away from home up against Stevenage. And we can't play with Berahano because he's actually um, on international duty. So playing at right back, uh, who do we play at right back? Um, uh, we have got a right back somewhere. Where is he? Talbot. Talbot can play at right back. And we're going to go ahead and bring um, Karoma onto the bench because obviously he needs a good few game time. Um, we'll take Rose off, and there we go. But, guys, just to confirm, we're 23 points in front in the league table, and there are only 24 points to play. So, therefore, if we win this game and Luton Town or Notts County drop points and lose their games, 
we will be crowned champions today. So, we could be crowned champions in this episode. Let's hope we do. Siemens with a good chance. They've got the ball. They strike it. And it's a good save from our goalkeeper at his near post. So, the goalkeeper is actually improving considering we had a first few iffy goals he let in. The first two goals he let in in a ports of shirt were a little bit iffy. But he should come out and claim that once we does do. And he's going to throw the ball out and launch a counter-attack of our own. So, can we do something well here? Bennett to try and take on his man. But we win the ball back surely. It's going to come to Reese Oxford. Reese Oxford can see the ball over the top to Moore. Can Moore get there before the defender? Surely, he's going to use his pace to sprint past him. Moore Moore to cut back inside. What a counter attack this could be. And he's at the top of the crossbar. That was inches away from the perfect counter. Good chance for Stevens. They got the ball inside. Surely we're not going to uh, let them score the first goal because that could show nerves there considering we have to step up to the plate now. We just need three more points and we've been crowned champions. So Emre Moore on the ball. Moore through to Omar. Omar, can he get there in time? Oh, the goalkeeper read that play well. And he managed to get there just before Omar. Otherwise, you would have bet your money on him finding the back of the net there. So Stevens is cut inside here from the right-hand side. He's going to go all the way. Plays the ball through to Bennett. Can Bennett find the back of the net? It's a tight angle, but it's a good save from the goalkeeper. And he's made a double save. Well done, the goalkeeper. That was surely had goal written all over it. But the goalkeeper um, doing very well there. It comes back to Ender Stevens, But Ender Stevens actually too far up the pitch there. And he's caught in an offside position. But lovely piece of play from our left-back. He's charged through with quite a few players. Played the ball out wide to Bennett. The goalkeeper made a good save. And then the goalkeeper made a fantastic double save to deny Ender Stevens. We've got a chance as we squeeze the ball through to Moore. Moore, can he get there? He can't, but it looks like Connor Chaplin will. Connor Chaplin gets there just in time. He plays the ball into the centre. It's going to come to Bennett. It, oh, the goalkeeper. How has he kept that one out? He has clawed that one. David Seaman-esque off the line. Well, I thought we had done it. I thought we had scored the goal which was going to win us the title. So a good ball for Laukovic. Laukovic is going to charge down the right-hand side. He cuts back inside. Can he get there? Uh, no, he can't because the defender's standing tall and winning the ball back there. But we've got the ball with Omar. Omar's going to try and find the ball out wide to Connor Chaplin. Connor Chaplin threw back to Omar. Can Omar find the back of the net? Oh, the goalkeeper again. Full stretch, fingertip save. This guy's on form. So Karoma has just come on the pitch. We've got the ball with Talbot here. Talbot through to Reese Oxford. Reese Oxford out wide to Laukovic. Laukovic take on his man. Can he get it? No, he can't. So we're trying to go all for it. I think all the players are thinking, I want to score the goal at Windsor's title. I want to do it. So I think they're all being a little bit greedy, to be honest. Good chance for Stevenage. Are they going to snatch the winner here? They've got the ball. We're going to cover the ball across. They strike it and they've beaten our goalkeeper at the near post. What a way that we were completely dominating the whole game. And our goalkeeper goes ahead and lets in a stupid goal at his near post. That just sums up pretty much our, well not our season, but pretty much the last few episodes. We haven't been playing well and they had one strike on goal and they found the back of the net. Our goalkeeper should be saving that one. And considering we could have won the title today, we're going to have to wait another day. What are they doing? They've given the ball away. It's going to come to Connor. Oh my God. What are we doing? Look, man, had a fantastic chance just to put the ball on the plate for Conor Chaplin to tap in, at least gain us a point. But no, we cannot even play the simple pass. But we've got one last chance as Conor Chaplin plays the ball through to look, man, and that doesn't even come out. So we end up draw a drawing. I wish we did. We end up losing the game to Stevenage away from home. So now it's going to be all down to our next game. It's going to be at home, so we can claim the title at home. Come on, guys, we need to do this. However, it's now going to be time for the third and final game of the episode. It's going to be a difficult one. It's going to be up against fourth placed Aquiton Stanley. So they're currently fighting to get an automatic promotion spot. So it's going to be a tough game, especially if we've got our second team line out. But we failed to actually secure the league title in the previous episode. Are we in the previous game? Sorry. Are we going to do it in this one? We're at home in front of our home crowd. Come on, Pompey. We need this. Lovely chance for Aquiton Stanley. And oh. How close are we? They put it wide at the post. And Atkinson Stanley nearly scoring an early goal against us there. So we need to pull up our socks because the pressure might be getting to us. They're normally, we normally run away with games. But since we've pretty much had the chance to win the league title, I think the pressure's getting to us and we're struggling. So Roberts plays the ball through to Baker. Baker, can he try and shot from range? No, he's not. We're going to play the ball to back to Linganzi. Linganzi through to Karoma. Karoma not the best first to touch and he loses the ball. So Atkinson actually playing a lot of bodies forward here. And we've got to be careful because the last thing we want to do is go and lose two games in a row. 
So we've got the ball, Karoma. Karoma's going to squeeze the ball through to Naismith. Can Naismith get there? No, he can't. Is that a foul? Thankfully, it's not. So we've still got the ball here. We cannot really sign, feel the need to play the ball through. We play the ball through to Gary Roberts. Gary Roberts to strike it. It's a good save from the goalkeeper. And uh, they just about get that one clear. Deary me, this is going to be tight. We've got a good chance to play the ball through to Naismith. Naismith's actually run out of energy. The worst time he could run out. But he cuts back inside. Can Naismith be the hat-trick hit of the hero? Um, no. Uh, his name shut up in lights, but they soon burst because that was an awful shot. And we're lucky I actually got a slight reflection and we get a lifeline. We've got a corner kick here. Baker plays the ball into the box. Can Naismith redeem himself with a header? It's a good block from the defender. We've got a good chance though. We play the ball out wide. We play it to Baker. Baker to cut back inside. Back to Lookman. And I think we've messed up our chance. But Lookman's still on the ball. He tries to squeeze the ball back through to Baker. And they do play the ball back to their goalkeeper. Oh. That was close. Five minutes remaining. Come on, guys. We want a goal. We want to win it ourselves. So play ball back to Berahano. Berahano through to Karoma. Karoma takes around his man. Karoma to strike it. And Karoma's won us the league. Karoma scores the goal in the 87th minute. And what a person to pick it up. The player that we did not like at the start of the season. We did not like him at all. The players know that they are pretty much just three minutes away from the league title. It's a lovely ball through to Karoma. He takes on his man. He goes for the strike. It's a lovely finish. Pass it which is Stanley goalkeeper and that could be it that could be the goal to secure us the league title there we go the final whistle's gone and we are the champions but the scenes are not there yet the manager is still shaking hands it doesn't know I don't think the game actually knows that we're the champions because they're not really celebrating that much and as you can see there the players aren't doing that much I thought we would be celebrating like crazy we've just won the league for god's sake so we've got a youth squad monthly report. So let's have a look at that one. Uh, Igor Cardoso. Yes, he's 16. Eventually, we can promote him to the first team liner. And we're going to go ahead and offer him a contract. Thank God for that. He is going to be promoted. We're going to give him a... Let's not specify it at the moment. We're going to give him a four-year deal or three-year deal. That's the maximum we can give him. And thank God he's now turned 16. He looks so good. And Adam Rose has also come back. Let's see what he's got. He's got this guy. He's got potential 76 and 94. So he looks quite good. Um... Up to 94. Um, none of these look that amazing. This guy looks... Horacio Sanchez, he looks quite decent. He's got an overall 52 to 70. So that could be quite promising. Let's have a look at him. And let's see what, in the future, he can bring. However, that is in fact going to be it for this episode of Career Mode. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to hit the like button down below as it is going to be hugely appreciated. And don't forget, if you're around here, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all my latest videos and career modes. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>